Hi, this is Keith from BetterBeatShots.com. In this video, I'm going to show you three quick and easy ways to stylize your bead photos. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to simulate narrow depth of field. We have this photo here of beads by Sheila Davis, and I'm going to make a copy of the background so I have a reference to go back to. Um, I'm going to adjust the levels so I could get the whites to be white and the darks to be dark by going to Colors, Levels, let's get the brights, let's bring it in a little bit, right about there, that looks good. Let's darken it up just a little bit, not too much. Adjust the mid-tones to be right about there, that looks good. All right, now that that's out of the way, we're going to make a copy of this background. I'm going to go to Filters, and I'm going to blur it by going to Blur, Gaussian Blur. Right now it's set to 22, which is pretty extreme. You can see what it looks like without the blur, and then you can see what it looks like with the blur. And I think 22 looks good. Let's go 25 to really make sure it's blurry. Hit OK. Now on the layer with the blurred background, I'm going to right click in here, go to add layer mask. I want the layer mask to be full. Hit OK. Now make sure that layer mask is highlighted, which it is. Come over here to the gradient tool. I want it to be black to white and I want the shape to be bilinear so that wherever I click, it will be in focus, and wherever I drag it out to will be out of focus. See how I just made this bead look like it's in focus, and the, and the beads in the foreground and background are out of focus? I could do the same thing with the bead in the back. Click and drag. Now that looks like it's in focus, and this looks like it's out of focus. By doing this, you can simulate narrow depth of field, which will add dimension to your bead. The further you drag it, the more it will have in focus. But if you drag it just a little bit, there will just be a little band of what is in focus. The second trick I want to show you is how to turn your image black and white, but have certain colors pop out. So the way we do this is I'm going to make a new layer above all the other layers by clicking on this. And I want the new layer to be all white. The reason why you can't see anything is because the new layer is on top of the background copy and the mode is set to normal. But I don't want it on normal. I want it on color. By doing that, it takes all the color out and turns it into a black and white image. So that's what it looks like without. That's what it looks like with, with it on. Now, what I want to do is start bringing out only the pink and green of some of these beads. The way I do that is make sure I'm on the new layer. Go to the Eraser tool. Let's zoom in. And I want to start erasing some of the white away. The white from the new layer. By doing that, that exposes the color behind it. And if I get too much, I could always go back to the white. Oh, I could always go back to the white with a white paintbrush. Let's make it a little bit smaller. That's a little bit big right there. And paint the white back in. Go back to the eraser tool. 
Start erasing away all the white. So basically, I'm just erasing the color back in. That's what we started out with. And that's what we got. Just by adding a new layer, have it be all white, change the mode of it to color, and use the eraser tool and erase certain parts of the new layer to expose the color on the bottom. The third trick I'm going to show you is how to create a glowing effect. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is make a copy of the background layer. On the second layer, I'm going to increase the contrast so that the brights are really bright, but the darks are really dark. So I'm going to go to Colors, Levels. I'm going to brighten up that area. But I'm going to darken it up Get it nice and dark. Maybe a little bit in the mid-tones, because I just want the highlights to show up. like that. Hit OK. That's what the original looks like. That's what the background copy looks like. Now from here, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm going to lower it this to be about 15 because I want it to be blurry, but I want there to still be some detail. Okay, I think that looks good. Hit OK. All right, that's what the original was. That's what the background copy is after the blur. Now, from here, on the mode, I want to change the mode to screen. That's what it looks like without it. That's what it looks like with it. That's a little too intense, so I'm going to lower the opacity. Like that. So lower the opacity just a little bit more. Just a little bit. All right, so we went from this to that just by creating a second layer, increasing the contrast to levels, using the Gaussian blur, and then changing the layer mode to screen, I was able to create kind of a glowing effect on the speed photo. So there you have it, three quick and easy ways to stylize your bead photos using GIMP 2. For more information like this, check out my website, betterbeadshots.com, and thanks.